Howdy folks, Alan B. Pro here today. I'm going to hit the 100 sub mark and I'm going to have a giveaway. That's what today is about. So 100 subs. Yeah, not a big deal to most people, but I'm thankful for every single one of you out there that has subscribed to me. I'm not a rich guy, but I did want to include some items that I think could be well used by almost anybody. So the items in this are going to end up being, um, well, to start off with, just some earplugs. I think everybody can use some of these. If you don't use them, stick them in your range bag. If there's somebody at the range that forgot the hearing or your hearing protection or whatnot, you've got some on hand. Or maybe you like to double up. You can put some of these on, put your headphones on. So yeah, just some earplugs. Those are made in Taiwan, but we don't make everything here in the United States. One of the things that I do have that is American made is going to be some of these splatter targets. We can all use things to shoot at. I know I can. So why not some splatter targets? So I'm going to throw in some of those 20 splatter targets right there. Another one of the things that I'm going to include in this giveaway, this right here, a American-made flag. I think it's rather entertaining when uh, you, you have a flag and it's been made in China. But this one, this one's American made. So you're going to get yourself a 3x5 United States flag. One of the things that I use, I've actually got a couple of them, I use it in my car, is this locking handgun case. This isn't American made, but we don't make everything here in the United States that, we, that I need. But in this locking handgun case, I often can take my, my, my entire holster off and my reload, put it in the case, and it locks up just fine. In case I need to go into a post office or something like that where I need to take my weapon off, I want the weapon to be extra secure inside my vehicle. This actually comes with a cable tether. It's not completely theft proof, but it's theft resistant. It does have dual combination locks on it that can be set independently or they can be the same number. It's entirely up to you. You set the number on these. There's going to be a couple other things that are added into this giveaway. I'm not going to divulge those right now, but what I am going to divulge is what needs to happen for you to get into this giveaway. In order to get into this giveaway, there's going to be a few things. First off, you got to be at least 18 years old. You say to yourself, Alan, there's nothing there that uh, anybody that's under 18 can't have. Well, there's going to be. There's going to be some, uh, at least one, if not a few other items that are going to be included in this giveaway that you need to be 18 in order to... Another one of the things that I'd like to see is if you don't have a channel where you make videos, just in include it in the comments, the answer to my question, which I'll re reveal in here in just a moment. If you do do videos, please do a VR. Put the link down below so that I can keep track of the people that are doing VRs. I'd greatly appreciate to see this VR. giveaway I'm going to run until the end of the month. And so somewhere around the 30th or the 1st, I will be doing the drawing on this. So giveaway. my question for this giveaway, it's very simple. What was the first weapon that you purchased for yourself for self-defense? Do you still have this weapon? If you don't, what'd you do with it? Now, I can't quite remember because I'm an old guy and I have a terrible memory on certain things. I can't remember the very first actual weapon, if it was a knife, if it was a baton, if it was a billy stick. I just don't quite remember. But I'm going to take you all the way back to 1996. In 1996, I bought a, a new-to-the-market Walther P99. In order to compare that to today's firearms, it is actually the, evolu the evolution of the P99 has now become the Walther PPQ. I actually had that weapon for a while. It was in 40 caliber. It was a full-size weapon. It wasn't the ide most ideal thing for conceal at the time, but it was the very first firearm that I purchased for myself for self-defense. Later on, I, take, I took that 
and I traded it in on the Smith & Wesson variant. Smith & Wesson came out with a variant that was a collaboration with Walther, and there was a couple extra features on the Smith & Wesson that I ended up uh, was being appealed to. So I ended up trading in my Walther P99 on a Smith & Wesson 99, also in 40 So that's going to be my 100 sub giveaway. There's going to be a couple of things that are going to be added to it. I greatly appreciate everybody watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you do a VR, please include it in the description below so that I can keep track of those. If you can't do a VR or you don't do videos, just put your, your answer in the description down below. I greatly appreciate your time today. And as always, keep your magazines loaded and one in the chamber.